in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy words, long preserved for our walk in this world. For our good night message on this Saturday, the 29th of June, 2024, the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, broadcasting from the Salesian Pontifical University, Rome, Italy, by your servant, Father Eustace Siame, a Salesian of Don Bosco. We listen to this faith-strengthening message in line with the feast we celebrated today, entitled Lessons from St. Peter and Paul. Today we celebrated the solemnity of St. Peter and Paul. It is a great celebration here in Rome and around the Basilica of St. Paul. A lot of activities are going on tonight to celebrate these two apostles that made the world different by their preaching. In our journey of faith, we can draw great inspiration and lessons from the lives of Saints Peter and Paul. Peter, known as the Apostle of the Jews, teaches us the importance of charity beginning at home. In 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 8, he reminds us to, above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. This verse encourages us to start with our own families, showing them the transformative power of Christ's love before venturing out into the world. Just as Peter focused on his own people, Paul, known as the apostle to the Gentiles, demonstrates faith in the people we preach to. In Romans chapter 10, verse 17, Paul writes, So faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of God. This reminds us that we must have unwavering faith in God's ability to change hearts and bring about transformation in everyone we encounter. As we navigate through life's challenges and uncertainties, let us remember that our faith is not limited by cultural or social boundaries. Both Peter and Paul faced numerous obstacles in their ministries but remained steadfast in their devotion to spreading the gospel message. In Acts chapter 20 verse 24, Paul declares, But I do not account my life of any value, nor as precious to myself, if only I may finish my course and the ministry that I received from the Lord Jesus. Despite their differences in background and approach, both apostles shared a common goal, to glorify God through their actions and teachings. Let us follow their example by living out our faith boldly and authentically in all areas of our lives. Like Peter and Paul, may we be willing vessels for God's work here on earth. In times of doubts or discouragement, does turn to these exemplary figures in Christian history for encouragement and strength. Their perseverance in the face of adversity serves as a testimony to God's faithfulness and grace. As it says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Let this truth resonate within our hearts as we press forward in our walk with Christ. May we embody the spirit of love and faith that characterizes both Peter and Paul's ministries. Let us strive to emulate their dedication to sharing God's message with those around us, knowing that through him all things are possible. As we continue on our journey of faith, may we take comfort in knowing that God is always with us, guiding and empowering us every step of the way. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night, as it dreams. Same to you, Father.